um so i'm not sure if this is actually going to be seen or not um if you've seen my may tbr video then you know i don't really have a set one other than that i'm feeling inspired to try a read it like uh type video um so i was thinking i might try and vlog that um and then maybe put a vlog up um because i'm just going to focus on one specific booktuber for this video i'm going to uh focus on jade from jd ray reads and i'm focusing on her best books of 2021 i want to see if a couple of the books that she absolutely loved will be good books for me um so i've just filmed a load of videos um i'm gonna have to do some editing um at some point over the next couple of days to get the next video up um but i just thought that i don't really have much else to do for the rest of the day so i thought i would try reading and i'm going to have a go at reading malice by john gwynn um like i said in my may tbr i have this book in audio i've had it in audio for a long time um but i thought i would have a go at listening and reading at the same time so i'm going to um go off now and start reading it download the audiobook and yeah so i should really tell you what this book is about so it's um about the banished lands that have a violent past where armies of men and giants clashed in battle an uneasy peace reigns but now giants stir once more the very stones weep blood and there are sightings of gigantic worms those who can still read the signs see a prophecy realized sorrow will darken the world as angels and demons make it their battlefield young corbin watches enviously as boys become warriors and yearns to join them determined that he will make his family proud it is only when everything he knows is threatened that he discovers the true cost of becoming a man as the kings look to their borders and priests beg answers from the gods only a chosen few know that the fate of the world will be decided between two champions the black sun and the bright star and with their coming will be a war to end all wars so that sounds really intriguing to me um obviously there's some sort of uh like chosen one type trope in here um i think in jade's video she said that actually you don't know who the black sun or the bright star are it talks about them you get an idea and you don't find out who which is which um until you need to know so that's kind of intriguing to me um i did say in my may tbr i have tried to listen to it on audiobook but it's one of those fantasies that throws you straight into the world with no world building at all um and aud audiobooks like that for me just aren't a lot of good until i've got the background to what's happening um so which is why i think i'm going to have a go at reading and listening at the same time um because then maybe i can pick up the audiobook when i go out for my daily walks um and yeah so i'm gonna sign off now and go and kind of do a couple of chores that i need to do and then i can sit down with this and read hello so it's tuesday evening on the 3rd of may and um i'm continuing the vlog it's been a couple of days since i filmed the intro clip um sorry about the tail that's going to be flicking around my face uh one of my cats has decided he needs cuddles um specifically at the point that i'm filming not before not after but during filming um he might he won't show his face he never shows his face on camera very very rare and i'm sorry if the camera jogs a little bit because he keeps rubbing his face against the table um yes so i'm continuing the vlog i haven't given up on it just yet i just thought i would pop on and give you a little progress update i have started malice by john gwynn i'm about 50 pages in i'm intrigued by it i'm enjoying it so far um I'm am doing what I said I do and I'm listening to the audiobook not always at the same time as I'm actually reading along I'm struggling with that a little bit I'm trying I'm struggling with finding a speed um that is slow enough for me to read along with but fast enough that it keeps up with me um there's no in between for me um 
so I'm really really struggling with that uh, however I have been enjoying it I've been using the audiobook for moments when I can't actually pick up the physical book itself so um, so yesterday I was pottering around doing a few things around the flat so I had my phone with me and I was listening to the audiobook then um, I am going to continue with this book but I'm kind of setting it aside for now there is a reason for this and that reason is that I found out about um, a book group called the Final Book Support Group and this is run by Steph over at Steph Loves. She is hosting a readathon this month in May, it's the 2nd to the 15th of May and I thought you know what my mood is really for books in a series, let's see if I can make progress in series that I've already got. And in the vein of still trying to read like Jade, I knew that I had Shadow Black on my TBR. Shadow Black is book two in the Spellslinger series, and it's one of Jade's all-time favourites. Um, so I had to continue, and I have started it. Uh, there were some reading sprints last night for the kickoff, and I did sit on those, sit in on those, and watch those, and I did read for a bit. I was kind of reading and scrolling and reading and scrolling. I wasn't really dedicated to reading the whole time. But I'm almost a third of the way through and I'm really enjoying it and I have no idea why I didn't actually pick up this book before because I really should have. Uh, so yes, definitely going to continue reading Shadow Black. The way Shadow Black is going at the moment in the first third of the book, I could potentially end up carrying on and reading the rest of the series um, and I might do that for the final book support group, who knows? I will have to see how I feel when I finish this one, um, but I will keep you updated, keep you informed. Um, all I'm going to do for the rest of this evening is I've, I'm home from work, I've had my tea, I've cleaned and tidied up, um, I've done what I needed to for the evening. So it's now, oh, what time is it? So it's about quarter to eight. Um, sorry, I just kicked the table leg. Um, it's now quarter to eight. Um, I'm probably going to go to bed in about an hour, hour and a half. Um, I don't stay up too late. Um, I'm not a night owl anymore. I used to be, but I can't wake up early either. So I haven't even switched from one to the other. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to carry on reading Shadow Black, um, make myself a drink, settle down with some snacks, carry on with Shadow Black and yeah, see how far I can get in the next hour or so. And I'll probably won't update you daily on this. Um, I'll probably update you as and when I remember um, because I'm still getting used to this vlogging lock. Uh, so I'll see you all in the next clip. Hello. So as you can tell, um, obviously it's a different day. Uh, it's actually Saturday the 7th of May now. And I think it's been a few days since I last updated you. I think it was Tuesday uh, when I'd started Shadow Black. Um, that I last updated you um, and things have moved on since then. Um, I have finished Shadow Black. Uh, I couldn't put it down basically. Um, I'm doing really really well. There's been a couple of uh, online sprints as well. Um, one was hosted by Steph um, over at Steph Loves and another one hosted by Covers with Cassidy uh, which I was reading during those sprints and yeah I've made some really great progress so I finished Shadow Black um, and I had completely forgotten how much I enjoyed Kellen's story and um, his connection with Rikus the squirrel cat and with Ferius who is an Argosi. Um, I really enjoyed this story so in this story it's following on from Spellslinger and Kellen is now out in the wild and coming across new places that obviously being Jan Tep he's never been to and he meets someone else who has Shadow Black um, but not all is as it seems. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I think the great things about these books is I think that you can actually talk about, I think each book will have its own plot um, but there will be connections to the overall plot so I think you might be able to talk to them talk about them individually however I think if I was to go into more detail about the what actually happens in this book 
it would spoil it for you i think all you need to know is that not everything is as it seems um and yeah it's it's more about the growth of kellen's character obviously he's he doesn't know anything about the world that he's in now um and he needs to learn about the world but he's also trying to learn from ferris um and ferris is trying to teach him but the way she's doing it is uh she's not actually teaching him in a way um so she's trying to uh give him some lessons um and yeah and just trying to teach him how to to deal with the, the world on a day-to-day -day basis uh my favorite character is Rikus. It is the squirrel cat yeah <laughs> um i love characters that are snarky that are um constantly have uh back chat um and also the with the element of this is that the only person who can really understand what Rikus is saying is Kellen himself so when Rikus is saying things that would not help the situation they're in Kellen has to think on his feet to interpret what has been said and not offend anybody um and yeah that's something I have to do to myself in my own life because I can be quite a sarcastic person um and it's not always appropriate and I do sometimes have to uh rein it in um so yeah I just love that Rikus is um a character who can say exactly what he thinks including what he wants to do to people because he has quite an obsession with eating eyeballs um but at the same time he doesn't have to rein it in someone else has to do it for him and he's completely free and I just love that um and it and it actually uh comes with some quite amusing moments through the book and yeah I really want to move on to Charmcaster um which is the third book in this series uh but my library does my local libraries don't have a copy so my two nearest libraries don't have copies I can't get to the other libraries where there are copies because they are quite further away um and it would involve, involve at least an hour's drive I could reserve it but I kind of feel like if I did that I wouldn't I probably wouldn't be quite so excited to read it so I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm not going to continue with the Spellsling series right now but on Jay's recommendation and because of how much I enjoyed Shadow Black I am going to continue with the series at some point so thanks Jade for continually bigging up this series because now I will pick it up uh, the other book that I've been reading to read like Jade is Malice by John Gwynn I am up to chapter 16 I'm about to ch start chapter 16 um, and I have been listening I've been kind of reading um not a lot i haven't actually been physically reading it i've done a lot of audiobook listening so i've listened to it on my journey to and from work um it's quite slow going uh so i've listened to about 45 minutes to an hour uh over every day for about three or four days and i'm still only up to chapter 16. so it is very slow going um i'm struggling and if any of you have any tips to help me out what I'm struggling with is what I'm trying to do is so that I don't have to try and find where I am in the physical book on the audio I'm trying to listen to the audiobook at the same time as I physically read it so if I pick it up in the evenings um but I'm really struggling to find a speed that works I'm either the speed on on the audiobook is too slow and my brain is then reading ahead of what I'm listening to or the speed is too fast and my brain isn't keeping up and I don't seem to be able to find a happy medium um, one and a half speed is slightly too fast um, 1.35 is slightly too slow and yeah I'm just I'm just struggling and I'd love to know how other people who sit and listen to the audio at the same time as they're allowing their eyes to absorb the words um, how do, how do you manage it how do you find that happy medium or is it just that maybe this is not the sort of book uh that you can do that with um because i'm struggling i'm struggling um i just i just want to read ahead 
and but that's something that I've always struggled with um when I was at school and we had to do assigned reading we had to do class reading and we had to listen along uh, to someone else reading and follow what they would I couldn't do it um I've never been able to combine listening to someone else read with following along with the story in my own copy I was quite lucky early in my school years that I had an English teacher who spotted that um, and she realised that actually I could, I was able to be aware of where everyone else was up to in the book, um, but it, it she was holding me back and uh, she allowed me to read ahead and as long as I knew where everyone else was in the story and could tell her and obviously if it was my turn to read out loud in class that I could immediately go back um which she did she was she was really understanding of that later um English teachers doing English literature I didn't have that with um so yeah so being able to kind of listen and read at the same time is not a skill I've ever developed very easily um so yeah so any tips that anybody can give me um then they'll all be greatly appreciated so yes, so that's where I am. Um, I'm currently taking part in uh, the readathon for the final book support group run by Steph over at Steph Loves. And I've decided, um, because I'm not going to continue with Charmcaster, and Malice is the first book in the series, um, so I'm trying not to include it for that. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to go over to another series. So I'm gonna. it's probably going to be a few days um before i update you on malice because i'm probably not going to read it like i say it's saturday i'm probably not going to read it over the course of today and tomorrow um so i probably won't update you again until towards the end of next week when i'm a bit further into malice uh through the audiobook um and i'll update you then so yeah i hope you have a good weekend um obviously by the time you're seeing this the weekend will have passed so I don't know why I'm saying that but hey there we go um so I hope that whatever you're doing right now that uh, you're enjoying yourself and I will talk to you in the next update hello so it's been a hot minute since I updated you um I think it's been almost two weeks since I finished Shadow Black it might actually have been two weeks since I finished Shadow Black um I can't remember what day I actually did the last update. I think that was two weeks ago. Um, so yes, so um, I after I uh, finished Shadow Black, I didn't really make any intentional progress with reading like Jade. Um, I carried on, and because I was taking, I was then taking part in a readathon. Um, so I carried on reading books like readathon instead. I have been um, reading Malice um, or listening to Malice on my journeys to and from work. Not every journey. Some journeys I just need the music to lose myself in. Um, the last month mentally hasn't been great for me. Uh, still isn't good. I'm still not in a great place. Um, so yeah some days some days reading just isn't a priority um but yes i have made progress like i say it's been two weeks i have made a lot of progress this is all i've got left i think the last time i updated you was on chapter 16 i am now on chapter 63 so i have about 20 or so chapters left to go um i'm not sure that reading it the way i have was the best way to go about it uh I don't know that I'm as engrossed with the story as I would have been if I'd been solidly reading the paperback um, or listening to, to it for huge chunks of time. I haven't really connected with some of the characters. Some of that is intentional because I've heard through other reviews that um, it's a bit fruitless getting connected to characters because they have a tendency to get killed off. That said, I do have a soft spot for Corbin. I do have a soft spot um, for a character surrounding Corbin. Um, and a dynamic that's changed between the two of them has made me shed a tear in the last chapter or so. Um, but it wasn't a death. Uh, it was just a change in... Um, 
in how they connect. Uh, I'm trying not to give spoilers here, but I am really enjoying it. Um, I have a feeling that I'm going to be glad I've got all four of the books on audio that I invested in them when I had credits uh, for Audible. Um, and I have a feeling I might be going to get the paperback of the second book as well so I can carry on um, with trying to track through the paperback as well. Immersive reading. Immersive reading isn't working that well for me. I still haven't found a happy medium. I'm either listening on 1.35 speed because when I'm listening that gives me enough speed to pay attention to what's being said but I'm making progress through it. Um, and one and a half speed, again, I'm, I've am i upped it to one and a half speed. I'm trying to um, read on sprints for Becca's Bookopolathon, 48 hour Bookopolathon uh, today. Um, so I am trying to listen and read at the same time um, in between doing bits and pieces around the house, uh, just while I try and get my mental health back under control. Um, yeah, it, it's not working that well for me. So I'll persevere um, and I will probably try it with the second book as well. But yeah, so far, so good. No one's died yet. Um, I'm thinking that might come. But there have been deaths, um, just not any of the main players. Uh, I'm thoroughly confused about who is going to be the Black Sun and who is going to be the Bright Star. Um, because you don't know, it doesn't tell you, you get led down different paths. Um, I've got opinions on certain characters and their characteristics, for want of a better word. Um, can't think of one right now, but yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm interested to see where it goes and, um, what revelations are to come in the last 20 or so chapters. So, yeah, I'll um it'll probably be another few days before I update you. I don't think I'll probably update you again until I finish it. Um and then I need to uh think about the next book that I'm gonna read after that. But yes, thoroughly enjoying Malice. Um I think it would be quite a good one for someone who started their fantasy journey, but maybe not a start in fantasy. Um so yeah, so I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Hi. Um, so it's been a couple of weeks since I last updated you and as I was filming my wrap up for May I realised I didn't come back to you after I finished Malice. Um, I really enjoyed this book, I managed to get through it all, um, it's counted, although I'm showing you the physical copy I listened to the majority of it in audio so I counted it as an audio book for the month and I thoroughly enjoyed it to the point that I actually have gone and have picked up in physical format Bala um, because I want to read this one as well I'm not sure when I'm going to start it if you see my June TBR it's not on my June TBR spoiler if you haven't seen it um, but yes I'm hoping that maybe I might fit it in because I've got the audio book for this as well um, and I bought this to read alongside the audio um, to see how I go but yes thoroughly enjoyed Malice. Thank you to Jade for introducing me to yet another fantasy series that I'm really enjoying and I'm now in the middle of and they're all chunky books. Um, but yes this is about Corbin uh, who is a young boy watching enviously as uh, those around him become warriors uh, and it's also about a prophecy um, that about uh, two champions the Black Sun and the Bright Star who are going to fight um, and basically one is good, one is not so good. You have no idea who is who. Um, there are a few uh, points of view to follow in here. So one of them is Corbin. Um, one of them is another guy called Veridus. Um, and then there is um, his boss whose name f has escaped me for a moment. Um, Nathair, that's the one. Um, so Nathair, Nathair you're not really sure about, you think, yeah, you don't really know. Um, so yeah, and at the end of it, you think you might know who is who, but do you? 
I don't really know. Um, I've been posting in the Wizard um, Wizardly Duo Discord about this and they're saying, yeah, keep reading. Uh, so I'm looking forward to picking up Valor. Um, just, it's, it's a chunky, epic fantasy. There's lots of, um, there's lots of fighting going on in this book. Um, I'm not sure that audio is the best way to go, but I need to get my audio, um, down that I've got, the number of books that I've got on audio, I need to reduce that TBR. Uh, so yes, um, so looking forward to picking up Valor and yes, like I said, thanks Jade to picking up another one. I did say at the beginning of this video that I might read three books, um, but I've actually decided because at the point that I'm filming this, it, we're going into June, um, I don't really want to start another long um, series and detailed series. I think I need to get on and read the ones that I've already got started. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, so just to sum up, I read Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell which is book two of the Spellslinger series. Again, thoroughly enjoyed it. Can't wait to get hold of a copy of Charmcaster to continue the series further. And I read Malice, which is the first book in the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynne. Both were great reads, really enjoyed them. And I'm glad that I've picked them up um, on the recommendation of Jade. And I will definitely be keeping an eye um, on her fantasy picks in future to, to see what else might take my fancy. In fact, I've already, like I say, I've got Miss Bourne. Um, she has read a series uh, recently by Jen Lyons. The first book is called The Ruin of Kings. Um, I'm really intrigued by that one. So yeah, so I think Jade could be my new fantasy go-to uh, YouTuber. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yes, uh, great, very successful. Read it like uh, video and yeah I think I might try and do this again in the future. Um, have you got any YouTubers that maybe you think I should try reading it like uh, for a while? Um, leave any suggestions you have in the comments box down below. If you've enjoyed this video, I know it's just me talking about books a lot, um, which most of my videos are, uh, but yes, um, if you have enjoyed it then please do give me a thumbs up. If you're not already then subscribe to the channel. I love having new subscribers here all the time. And if you don't already know, I make videos. They go up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.